Yep, I'm already a mess today. Hello and welcome back to the Craft Mansion. I'm David and in this video I will be making Daredevil's helmet from seasons 2 and 3 of Marvel's Netflix show Daredevil. I've also seen it being called a coal or a cowl, I'm not sure how to spell that, but to me it looks like a helmet and I'll continue saying helmet because this is my channel and I do as I please. If you follow my Instagram account, you'd know why I had that mess at the beginning of the video. I think it would be pretty difficult to design a helmet on my own head. So, I made my own head. I'll give you a quick rundown of how I made it. First, I decided to get my mom to suffocate me with plastic. I made a hole for my mouth, of course, and then with small bits of duct tape, we covered my whole head. I left my eyes for last to not go insane, you know? and I took care of the nose, eyes and ears to see that they were in the right shape, while the rest was also covered. I look like an idiot, I'm on YouTube, goals. Here comes the man in the iron mask. Then we cut from the bottom all the way to the mouth and I slipped my head out. I reclosed the cut and covered the mouth from outside and inside. I only needed half of this, so first I marked the middle and all the cuts I needed to make to flatten it out. For better support, I lengthened the neck and then assigned letters to all the cuts while also making alignment marks. I cut all the pieces and alignment marks. Just in case I needed to make another head form, I needed the template to be sturdy, so I transferred all the patterns to cardstock and then to format foam. This was only half the pattern, so of course I copied everything again on the opposite side. As much as I could, I made 90 degree cuts and sanded them if needed. Before gluing, I heated the foam pieces and shaped them according to their position. I applied contact glue and glued all the pieces together. The last seam was the hardest, but I managed. I glued on the nose and shaped the face. This is unfinished because I'm short on time, and in fact I only sanded the upper half. But anyways, for this project I only needed the upper half, so this is just fine. To make the helmet, I started by covering one side of the head form with foil. I taped the foil down to the head form so it wouldn't fall and I shaped it to fit. I applied small bits of duct tape over the foil and then marked the middle and the outline of the helmet. The extra tape isn't needed, so I just cut that off. I replaced the template back on and started making the different cuts and alignment marks just like I did to create the head form. Then I separated the different parts and made sure that they could lay flat. Now, the template is only for the left side of the helmet, so I copied each part twice, once from each side, onto 2mm EVA craft foam. I also copied the alignment marks. I cut the parts and applied contact glue to the edges. Once the glue had almost dried, I started attaching the parts together. In some of them, I also made cuts that would end up rounding out the foam. So I taped through the middle just to check the size of it, as I thought it would be, it's a bit too big for my head. Because this is a bit bigger, I still need to make this smaller. So what I'll do is I'll make a cut on this side and on this side and bring these ends together closer so it would become smaller. I measured the excess foam and then cut it off. Once I had the right fit, I glued both halves together. The nose area needed to have a snugger fit, so I heated it with a heat gun and held it in place up to my face. Luckily I didn't burn myself cause it wasn't that hot. I made the eyebrows thicker by gluing on floor mat foam and then shaped them. Now I don't have red plastic, so I cut out the shape from a Pringles lid. It's slightly bigger than the eye holes so I could stick it to the foam. I marked the outline and glued a strip of foam all the way around the eye hole. On top of that, I super glued the plastic. The eyebrows, well, unibrow actually. It needed to be stirred here and have a sharper edge so I glued an extra layer of 2mm foam. This was a pretty idiotic thing on my part. I didn't know we had red marker at home, so I just used my pink one to color the plastic. Then, I did more foam on top of the unibrow. Two layers of 2mm foam to be exact. So I could sand them down in a bevel between the unibrow and the rest of the helmet. For the second layer of foam, I started with the eye holes. I used the same steps to make a template out of tape. I marked the outline and cut it. I transferred the template onto foam twice and cut them. I glued the pieces together and glued this part over the nose and eyes. Then I continued the rest of the helmet. First, I marked the proper lines shown on the third layer using blue and black. 
I drew them as I needed to make sure that the cuts of the second layer would not show up later on. Since I couldn't be as flexible with the amount of parts, I had to make lots of cuts to flatten the template down. Again, I glued the parts together and then glued them on the helmet. I sanded the middle of the unibrow so that in the middle it tapered down. For the final layer, I just taped the second layer templates together and increased it a little from the middle and made some other minor adjustments. I continued to add all the other details that go on the helmet and marked the areas I didn't need. I cut the different pieces, but not entirely. I left some strips here and there just to keep the whole thing intact. Then, I copied the pattern onto the helmet, cut it into its separate parts and transferred them twice onto 2mm foam. Using the guidelines I drew, I glued on the final layer. I cut off the extra foam where the layers didn't match and sanded the edges flat. I also made templates for the horns and then copied the pattern onto foam. For a better fit, I beveled the inner edges of the back and side parts of the horn. First, I glued those two together. Then, I added the bottom and finally I glued that part that goes on the front and is slightly concave. I cleaned off the edges and then beveled the base. So, the base is thinner on the side, nearest to the middle of the helmet. There are some more panel lines which I lightly cut into. I should have cut these out before gluing on the third layer. So then I had to hollow out four rectangles from the back to expose the second layer of foam. On the top there are another two rectangles, but these stay attached from one side. I tapered the layer underneath and then re-glued the third layer. I heated the entire helmet to form it and also to seal the foam a bit. This also opens up those cuts I made for the panel lines. I covered the eye holes with some painter's tape and sprayed white plastic dip all over the helmet. Then I removed the tape from the outside and started painting the black. The inside is all black as well. For the panel lines I mixed some water with the paint, painted over the lines and then wiped off the excess to leave paint only in the panel lines. The rest of the mask is sort of a dark maroon color, which I made from red and then a little bit of black and blue. I gave it three layers of maroon to get a solid color. Finally, I sealed all of the maroon with Mod Podge. Wait, wait, wait. The final step was actually something I had already done. I had to recolor the eye holes. They got all messy while I was working on the rest of the helmet. Okay, now you can move on to the montage. I am planning to reduce the size of this hat form by sending it down. Hopefully it would still be sturdy enough that I could plan future helmets on it. But eventually I think I got the pretty good size for this helmet. And for the eye holes I could have used a proper red plastic but I like to use um, stuff I already have and repurpose it. If you would like to see more helmets give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below with what you think I should do next. Now I better finish this video before I start seeing everything permanently in red. So, now I better finish this video before I permanently start seeing in red. If you want to see more craft tutorials, you can subscribe. Right here, I have many more videos on my channel, two of which are these. And until then, this is Daredevil's Helmet, I'm David, and this is The Craft Mansion. Oh,